Claire Taylor played for England between 1998 and 2011. It was Claire Taylor who converted me from being a, a women's cricket agnostic, if you will, to uh, a huge supporter. And that was on a, uh, an evening in 2009 when I went to the Oval to watch the, the semi-final of the, uh, the World T20 there. What I saw was just a magical display from Claire Taylor and Beth Morgan in a partnership. 120, I think it was, in uh, near enough 10 runs and over that won the game for England with three balls to spare. And uh, uh, it was just an extraordinary evening and it made me realise what the women's game had to offer. Claire Taylor, the number one better in world cricket. Short yes! and wide, yes! there's uh, no third man there. This will race away to the boundary. The first one for Claire Taylor, and she's off the mark. The number one batter is off the mark with a stylish boundary. She was a remarkable player. She was the leading scorer in the 2009 Women's World Cup. She was player of the tournament that year. 2009, she was uh, ICC's Woman Cricketer of the Year. It was a stellar year for her that year. And all in all, she made 150 appearances for England, 150 plus appearances for England in, uh, in all the formats that she played. And she was uh, the mainstay of the uh, England batting for a decade. Again, short and wide, there's an extra boundary. She is very, very strong there. Anything short and wide, she will punish you. Claire Taylor was in the vanguard of women's cricket as it's growing and becoming today, the, the force that it is today. She was quite rightly um, made a, uh, one of Wisdom's five cricket of the years, the first woman cricketer to become a, a cricket of the year. That was a, a great honour for her. Well, that's a very positive shot. Uh by Claire Taylor, the number one batter in women's cricket. She played 15 test matches all told, and in those tests she scored just over a thousand runs and averaged 41. Four centuries, the highest of them 177, a very considerable player. In all she scored over 5,000 international runs, averaged 40 plus in both test match cricket and in uh, one day international cricket, which is some achievement. She really is a contender for the finest woman cricketer of them all. <laughs>